Hey guys, how you doing? I hope you are doing well. This is HP Deskjet 2721A. This printer is multifunctional printer, it's multi-tax 3 in 1 in the sense you can copy, scan and print from this printer. I'm going to show you how to scan a document from this printer, okay, using a mobile device. This printer is connected to my mobile device and it's connected to the same network okay check my video you see how we connected this printer to send to wi-fi network what i want to do is to show you how to scan a document we're going to scan this document to scan the document open up the scanner stick the document you want to scan face down close it now go to the app hp smart app select printer scanner okay and the printer scanner is ready now the next thing you need to do is you need to select the paper size, page size. If you are using different paper, then you need to select, if you are using letter, 5x7, 4x6, 3.5x5, okay, or A4, then you need to select. So what we selected now is A4 paper, okay, then you go back. Source is glass scanner resolution select resolution the maximum you can do resolution is 300 dpi with mobile phone at the moment is in 200 dpi okay and color you can select color or black at the moment is in color okay then select go back again select start scan now this document is scanning Okay, you can see the document to scan. Now, the next you need to do is select next. If you're happy with it, then you select next. Next. Okay. And now, if you want to scan another document, to scan the second document, open up the scanner, remove this, and stick the second document you want to scan on top of the scanner. Close it. Okay. Now, go to the app select add on top add okay do the same thing select scan i also want to mention if you want to scan photo then you need to select photo if you want to scan document you need to select document so we are scanning document okay select scan Here we go so the second document we scan is here okay so you can also make sure that it's full okay if you have it out you can make sure that it's full okay once you are ready select next okay and this is the first and second document we scan so this is the document we scan now if you want to print this document out you can also print it out you can also share this document you can save so, so many things you can do with this document, okay? Select print to print it out. Okay. Now, you select how many copies. Page range, color, orientation. If you want more, select more setting. Select quality and scaling. Then go back. Select print. This is the first one. This is the second one, okay? So this is the document we scan, <coughs> printed it out. Now, and we also show you on the app that our printing job is on the way, okay? S start saving, not now. Okay, so the next thing to do 
is this document ideally when you scan the document you need to save it okay for you to be able to print it so now because we didn't save this document so we'll scan it again so let's scan Okay, make sure you have it full okay select next okay and remove this document stick the second one you want to scan on top close it select add scan again Okay, select full, click next. Okay, this is the first and second one. So we printed this document out. What I want to show you is to save this document, select save. Okay, if you save this document, you can have the, you can add your name or anything you like to be able to remember. Click save. And this document now is saved. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is to share this document okay via email select share okay select share also make sure before you share the document make sure you select pdf okay so that is and also sharing the file you can ask, you can share the actual size or reduce it okay can the actual size is 0 0.6 mb you can have it medium to reduce it click share now I give you option to share this via several platforms, email, WhatsApp, Yahoo Mail. So I'm going to share this via Outlook email. Okay, this document now is attached to my inbox. Okay, I'm going to type the email address of the person I want to send it to. I want to send this back to myself. Click send. Click OK. So this document now is sent to myself okay pretty much our job is done here the next thing we need to do is we need to go back okay so you go to the in, yeah, inbox okay go to the inbox and wait for this document we, we sent to my, the inbox here we go this is the document okay this note to self this is the document sent to my inbox click it open This is the document to scan and send to my inbox okay so if you're happy with this tutorial please do consider to subscribe it help the channel so we have been able to scan this document printed it out share and save okay thank you if you want i also want to mention if you want to know the document where the document you save you go to your file go to your phone my file okay go to the documents okay and select this is the document open it up okay so this is the document we save okay you can also check you can use the date or it will also tell you the particular time or the date you save the document so this is how it works you just need to go to your file okay go to the file and check the document you save where you save it and this is the document here Thank you very much indeed, guys. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. You help the channel. Thank you.